Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Shameless Creatures Podcast. We're here. It's episode 18. As you can tell, if you listen to last episode, my throat feels better, which is good. No one likes their throat hurting. The throat hurting is just, you know, it's just the world telling you to fuck yourself. And I don't like that. That's really mean. It's really fucking rude. Hold up. I got to turn my volume up in my headphones. But yeah, man, it's... uh. How's my week been? It's been a good week. Uh, last day of my uh, of my first semester this year it ended on Monday, and it was cool because I only had one exam on Monday, and that exam was only like 20 questions. So I finished it in 10 minutes, and I got to leave school 10 minutes after getting there. It was pretty good. I can't really complain about that, and I also passed, which is nice because it was a class that I had a I had like a 48 in. But I brought it up to a 74, which to some people a 74 is a bad grade. But to me, a 74 is a good high five. You know, I like it. I like I like me a good 74. If I don't have a 74, then I have less than a 74. Okay? But it's cool, though. I got a 100 in one of my other classes. That's never happened in the history of me existing ever. So that's pretty good, If you if I do say so myself. But anyways... If you want to support this podcast, you can go to anchor.fm slash shameless creatures. You can click on support this podcast or whatever platform you're listening on. If you're watching the video version on YouTube, the link is right down below in the description. And then if uh, if you're listening on like Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts, uh, you can just go to the show notes, which is kind of like the biography for the podcast or, like, the description of it, and it, there'll be a link that says, support this podcast, and you just click that fucking link, and that link takes you to support the podcast. Um, if you want to leave any voice messages for me to listen to on the podcast and respond to your questions or whatever you want, you can give me a call at 919-263-4472. That's 919-263-4472. You'll hear my little voicemail greeting thing, and you can leave a voicemail, and I'll listen to it on the podcast depending on if it's worth listening to, so fucking make it worth listening to. And if you don't want to use your voice, you can also tweet using the hashtag shamelesscreaturespod on Twitter. That's hashtag shamelesscreaturespod, and I can look at your tweets and respond to them. It doesn't have to be a question. It can just be how you feeling. Something you want me to something you want me to talk about. You know, uh, just just do it. Um, but yeah, man. For December, as I said, I'm doing weekly gift recommendations just because it's December. You know, Christmas is next fucking week. It's wild, dude. This year has gone by way too fast. Um, yeah, man, it's gone by so fucking fast. It's insane, bro. Like, it just fucking flew, but my gift recommendation for this week is, uh, th- this is for if you have a child that is, like, a toddler or, I mean, maybe, maybe up to, like, 12, I don't know, I don't know when, I don't know when kids stop giving a shit about this, but if you have a kid or you have a little brother, uh, maybe a little sister or daughter, if they're into it. Uh, you can get them some Hot Wheels monster trucks. And the reason I'm saying this is because I bought one for my little brother for Christmas. Uh, I wrapped it up with my mom. We put it there under the tree. Not really under the tree because, as I said last episode, the tree's outside because my mom was having allergies and now she wants to bring it back in. We're a weird family. But basically, we put the presents there and um, my dad caught my little brother opening the present I bought him. So, uh... Yeah, he caught, dude, he caught my little brother opening the fucking present I bought him, and my little brother, like, saw what was in there, and he even knew the name of it, alright, I bought him, uh, I bought him a Hot Wheels monster truck, 
And the name of the truck is Mega Rex. Dude, he doesn't even know how to read, but he looked at that chain and was like, Mega Rex! So, yeah, I ended up just having to give him his present really early, but he fucking loved it. He's been playing with it every day. So all I'm saying is, if you if if you got like a little brother or a son or something that's young, get him a Hot Wheels monster truck. They're cheap as fuck. On Amazon, they're like eleven dollars, and you know they love them. They're pretty cool as well. I mean, I can't say that I wouldn't play with them, because they also fucking dude. They don't have like suspensions, but they they bounce. You know, it's cool. But um, yeah, man, this is episode eighteen, bro. That's fucking wild. I know that the first like. The first, like, nine episodes, kind of, uh, I did those for a few times, to- or uh, maybe it was the first eight episodes, I don't remember, but I know I did them uh, week after week, there was some weeks that I skipped, but, you know, to think that in total, like, with all the episodes I have in total, that's like 18 weeks of my life, because, uh, you know, every episode I did after a week, but it's like, it, it's it's crazy, man, it's crazy time, dude, it's a fucking crazy time, it's almost New Year's and shit, that's wild, dude, uh, but yeah, man, what do I have in store for today, uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about is, uh, the Cats trailer, now this trailer came out, uh, if I remember correctly, I think like the beginning of the month, I may be wrong. It probably came out before. I just don't care enough to look. Oh man, the fucking Cats trailer, bro. I don't know why I said it like that, but fucking bro. The Cats trailer. If you haven't seen the Cats trailer, um, I don't even know if I want to tell you to go watch it, you know? Uh, maybe you should watch it just to experience it, but what I wanted to talk about was like, you know, Sonic, I remember I talked about this on a on an earlier episode about how Sonic, you know, they 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 coming out with a movie. I don't know if it came out already. I think I I think it's still still not out, but you know, they they had an original design for Sonic and then everyone hated on it so bad that they ended up changing the design, which honestly uh, it's kind of an L for the people making Sonic, uh, I think it's Sony, because, um, fucking, you know, like, just make your movie, it's your movie, just fucking make it how you want to make it, but, like, like, if Sonic was still ugly, people still would have watched it because of that, people would have watched it because they'd be like, huh, that's fucking weird, but you had to change it, because you're a bitch, but, um, the cat trailer, man, Dude, when the Sonic for when the original Sonic movie design came out, everyone was attacking that shit. And I get it because like Sonic, you know a lot of people grew up playing Sonic. It's like a it's it's a nostalgic thing. People don't want you to ruin it for them. Um but why the fuck? Dude, why are why are people just allowing the Cats trailer to exist? No one I haven't seen anyone just why is no one talking about how fucking awful the Cats trailer looks, dude? Like, they have all these big fucking, like... They have all these celebrities as well in this movie. They got Jason Derulo in there, first of all. What the fuck is he doing in there? They got fucking Taylor Swift in there, first of all. What the fuck is Taylor Swift doing in there? They got fucking, what's his name? I think Idris Elba, something like that. What the fuck? is he doing in there dude it's so bad how did they manage do how did they manage to get all these people in there and like because all these celebrities are in there you know you already know that they're spending so much money probably like probably in the tens tens of millions to have all these people in this fucking movie and like it's gonna bomb dude i I don't see this movie fucking hitting, you know? I don't see this movie fucking coming out and then having, like, a large audience of people that genuinely enjoys it. I think a lot of people are going to see it because it has all these celebrities in it, but I don't think it's going to fucking succeed. It looks fucking awful. I'm not even going to... Man, it's just like... I don't get it. Like, I remember when the Sonic trailer came out, I would open Twitter. Everyone was going off about it. But, like... The Cats trailer, dude, I haven't heard, 
I haven't seen any dude i haven't seen anyone fucking bring it up no one's talking about it how is no one talking about it It has all these fucking famous people i know there's fucking i know there's fucking taylor swift stands on twitter that like you know nut over taylor swift constantly that have to know about this movie and there's no way that they're genuinely supporting the movie it looks awful you know it just and it, it look i don't even know what it's about okay if you look at the trailer it probably explains it. I just couldn't pay attention to it because all the characters are fucking human cats, dude. And it's not like normal human cats. It's like, and what I mean by normal human cats, I mean like people with cat ears. Nah, dude, these are fucking humanoid. They're, they're literally humans, but with cat fur and cat like, you know, designs all over them. And it's fucking weird, bro. It's weird as fuck. I also saw this tweet uh, last night, you know, when I was, it was like two in the morning and I was just fucking just looking on Twitter, wasting my time because that's what I do. And uh, I did see that apparently, I don't know if this is true, you know, it was tweeted by one of those accounts, it's called like fucking Urban Facts or some shit. But it basically said that uh, the people who are doing all the CGI and everything had to CGI Jason Derulo's dick because his bulge was just too fucking large. Which, first of all, shitty movie, but that is the hardest flex ever, dude. Imagine being able to say that your bulge was so big that they had to CGI it out of the movie, dude. That's a fucking flex. It's wild, bro. Like, I'm the kind of guy where if you put me in a movie and you needed me to show my dick, you got to CGI that thing in there, dude. You ain't seeing that on the camera, bro. If the camera adds 10 pounds, dude, that camera taking out my four inches, you know? And, like, you got to CGI that shit in. But, like, Jason Derulo apparently ain't having that issue. He got to CGI that shit out, bro. I feel like if you fucking, you know, the the dick is made made of, like, muscles and veins and some shit... Dude, I feel like if you did an x-ray of Jason Derulo, that shit is literally like a fucking femur come out and coming out of his pelvis, bro. It's fucking wild, man. Fucking Jason Derulo, man. I, I remember being like 13, having no, like, no experience. Actually, not even 13. I was like 12 in middle school. Fucking no experience with girls. Too scared to talk to them. Um, no experience with really anything ever. I didn't even know how to nut yet. But I was listening to birthday sex. What? Also, I wasn't the only one. Everyone was listening to it. And again, none of us even knew how to nut yet. Why were we all listening to birthday sex? What the fuck is that? It's weird how the world works, you know? Everyone just, like, listens to Jason Derulo birthday sex whenever they can. But, um, yeah, man. The Cats trailer, I just don't get it. I don't, I don't understand how, how everyone is just not, you know. How is everyone just not talking about it? It doesn't make sense to me. It's like, it's a big movie. How did they make it look that bad? I genuinely think it's gonna bomb. And you know, I may be wrong. As I said in other episodes, I'm just a guy. I'm just a fucking 19 year old guy chilling here talking into a microphone, and you just happen to be hearing it. But I personally, I personally think that this movie is going to bomb. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be very surprised. And I will come on this podcast, and I will apologize to fucking Jason Derulo's 37-inch bulge. And I will apologize, okay? I'll fucking apologize. But for now, looks like it's going to bomb. And uh, yeah, man, that's all I got to say about that. Um, I'm trying something different this episode. I Usually what I do is I record my audio and my video on the same computer. But every fucking episode I record, for some reason the video keeps getting out of sync. And it's really fucking annoying because then, then I have to sit there and edit for like four hours because... Um, well, not edit for four hours, but I have to sit there and find the spots where it gets out of sync. And then I have to sync it up. And I have to keep doing that. And it takes a long ass time because it's an hour long recording and it gets out of sync maybe every like five minutes or so. 
and it's fucking annoying. So this time, what I'm doing is I'm recording my microphone on my main computer, and I'm recording my my webcam with my laptop. Uh, it's not the fastest laptop in the world, but I'm hoping for the best. Uh, because I, I think maybe my computer just had too many things going on at once, so it was like, eh, I don't want this. And then, um, yeah, so I'm trying something different. I'm trying something different, you know? I really am. But, uh, dude, I just, I can't get over that, though. Imagine, like, imagine just being able to go to a party, and, like, not only can you flex this, but they'll be playing your song. Like, because if if Jason Derulo shows up at a party, you know, they they got to play Jason Derulo's music. It's Jason Derulo, you know? So not only will he walk in to them blasting his music, but he can walk in and be like, hey, girl, they had to CGI this bulge out of the movie. It was too big. Dude, that's a flex. As f- that's a flex, dude. It's a fucking flex. I wish I could say that they CGI'd my dick out of a movie because it was too fucking large. But instead, if they CGI'd anything out of me, it'd be my fucking weight. Because look at me. I'm going to hit this jewel. Man. I don't know, man. Dude, speaking of jewel pods, or not speaking of jewel pods, but speaking of jewel, um, dude, I keep, I don't know. My thing, like, I want to quit jeweling because it's just, what's the point, you know? But I do it. I do it, uh, I do it a lot more on occasion now because they keep bringing up the price, man. And I don't get it. I don't understand why because so many people right now are trying to, like, you know, sue Jewel or some shit. I, I keep getting ads on Instagram that are like, if you're addicted to nicot- if you're addicted to Jewel and you're under 18, sign up for compensation now. And it's like, I don't want to, dude. I don't give a fuck that much. But I don't know, dude. It's like if you go to a gas station, they have Jewels, but then there's also these disposable vapes which are exactly the same. Like they're just disposables. And they have a pot in there with salt nicotine juice, which is exactly what a jewel is. Some of them even taste better. Um, I just haven't gotten them because I have a jewel, so why not get jewel pods? But like, dude, they keep shitting on jewels so hard that it's like they're they're increasing the prices, they're removing the good flavors, and I don't understand it because, as I said, they have the the disposables. And at first, they removed the mango pod, which is like. Easily one of the best pods. Probably my second favorite behind Mint. I, I I can't really decide, but... First, they removed the mango pods. So there hasn't been mango pods for a while. But those disposables that I was talking about, they have mango. So why why does Jewel have to, like, fucking... Why does Jewel have to remove it, dude? Is the government too cool to Jewel? Is this what I'm getting? Is Is this what they're trying to say? I don't know, dude. I just, a lot of you probably don't give a fuck about that because you probably don't do it because you're not dumb. But it's just like, I don't know, dude. It's weird. Like, why are you, I don't know. I, th- I, I just find it really weird that they're attacking this one company, even though there's like thousands of other ones that are doing the same thing. But um, yeah, man, I don't know. Also, like, they got to work on getting rid of cigarettes, bro. Like, I I haven't been smoking much recently. I've actually... I only have a pack right now because I went to a friend's house and one of them gave me a pack. And uh, that's the only reason I have a pack right now. But I haven't bought, like, my own pack in a while. I've gotten better at it. But, you know, they really got to get rid of that shit because cigarettes are fucking gross. Like, they've never... I've never smoked a cigarette and thought, Wow, I really love the taste of this. Because, like, sometimes I do like the flavor, but it's never enough to keep smoking. Usually what it is is the actual feeling in your throat after you take a hit. And, um, I don't know, man. I just find it dumb that they're attacking these, like, companies that aren't the problem. You know, like, they're part of it, but they're not, like, you know, like, they're not, they're not as high up there of the, of a problem. You know, they're just, they're just kind of there. 
Um, but yeah, man. I don't know, dude. Fucking jewels, man. Also, dude, with all that whole like, you know, how they're trying to get rid of jewel and everything, dude, jewel pods are so fucking expensive now, man. Dude, I remember I think at some point they were ten dollars for four pods. And then they were fifteen dollars when I when I started. They were fifteen dollars, which wasn't too bad, because I wasn't going through pods that fast. But um, dude, now pods a four pack of pods that are five percent nicotine are twenty fucking dollars, dude. That's more than I have to pay to use. That's more than I usually have to pay to fill up my gas tank. Okay, what the fuck? You're making me want to smoke more cigarettes. What are you doing? Why does it cost more for me to inhale a vape than it does to fucking fill up my car and go places? One of them takes me places. The other one quite possibly gives me cancer. Why does it cost more to fucking buy jewel pods than it does to drive my car? Huh, guy? You gonna answer that? I need it. I need an answer. Fucking send it to me, dude. Why does it cost more? Why does it fucking cost more to inhale liquid than it does to put liquid in my car that makes my car go vroom? Okay? Like, I get it. The jewel you inhale, it kind of makes your brain go zoom. But the gas, it makes your car go vroom for, like, some days, you know? Dude, I don't get it. Dude, I don't get it, man. They're just a, the, the, the fucking, the, 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 bah, you know? Uh, but yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know. That was very sidetracked. I just got upset about that. I've been upset about it because it's fucking annoying. Um, Yeah, dude. It's funny, though. I always uh, I have this tendency to lose a pod, and I don't know how it always happens. But somehow, when I'm, like, I always buy the four pack, and then there's one pod that somehow just disappears, bro. It's just gone. And uh, the last one I bought, <laughs> which is the the pack I'm using right now. I'm on the last one. But I remember. I fucking... I, I, I got off work. I went into my car, and I remember taking the pod out of my pocket and putting it in, like, the little fucking area where you can put shit on. Every car has one. I don't know what the fuck it's called, but... You know, I put it there, and then when I got home, it wasn't there, and I was like, "Huh, well, this is fucking, this is very weird. I don't know, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what to do about this." And so I, I finished the other three pods, and I was like, "Well, I do have another pod. I just don't know quite where it is. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's in my car or not. I'm hoping it's in my car, but if it's not in my car, then where the fuck is it?" And then I went to my fucking car, and it wasn't fucking in there. And, uh, yeah, dude, for, like, four, not four, for, like, three days, I was like, huh, I really wish I didn't lose that pod. And then I went to work. Now, I've said in other episodes, I work at a radio station, an AM radio station in 2019, about to be 2020. And, um, you know, it's an AM station, so the majority of people that work there, specifically my bosses, or like my boss and then all the other people that have been working there for a while. The majority of them are like in their 60s and up. Uh, low is probably 40. But they're all very conservative. So they're all against, uh, you know, vapes and everything. Which I get. I get being against vapes because it's fucking weird. It's a weird thing to do. Like, sometimes when I'm high, if I'm fucking inhaling a vape, I'll sit there and think, and, like, I I feel like I'm inhaling a battery, which essentially I am. Like, if you look at a jewel, all it is is a battery just put into a little metal thing, and uh, that's that's it, you know? <laughs> but, um, fuck, what was I talking about? God damn it. Oh, yeah, so so all my <laughs> all the people that work there are, are pretty fucking old, old enough to not like vapes or anything like that. And um, I I went to work, you know, I went to work and I told I, I've been having this fucking I've been having these weird muscle pains. I, I'm having it in the in my top, in the top left of my back and then in my left ankle. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but my body's dying. And uh, I went to work and uh, 
my the the receptionist lady the lady that works there she was like hey how are you and i was like i'm okay i've just been having these weird like muscle pains and these ankle pains and i don't know i don't know what's happening and then she was like well, hmm, i wonder what that's from as if she knew what it was and i was like what the fuck dude i went to i went to the to the, to the little studio where i'm on the air and when everyone left because I, I, usually she's there for an hour and then she leaves and then i'm just there alone until i lock up and i fucking dude i remember i was sitting there thinking like what she said that like she knew what caused it dude i sat there thinking that like my boss cursed me or some shit like because like so sunday dude i keep getting sidetracked but sunday was like they were having a christmas dinner everyone that works at the station and i didn't want to go honestly so i didn't and uh dude it sounded like when she was like so yeah so i didn't want to go and i didn't go so when she was like, I wonder what that's from, I was like, did they fucking curse me because I didn't go to Christmas dinner? And then I was like, huh, and I was thinking about that for like three hours, dude. And I went to, or I got up because I was about to lock up, and then I look on top of this big ass shelf thing that we have, and I just see my jewel pod. They didn't throw it away, dude. They fucking put it up there for me. And I think that's what she was talking about when she was like, hmm, I wonder what that's from. I'm, I'm guessing that's what it was about, but, like, yeah, dude, I really, like, because in the back of my mind, I was like, maybe I dropped it at work and just didn't fucking notice. And uh, I did, apparently, and they didn't throw it away, apparently, which is pretty cool of them because uh, I did the math. One pot is $5, and I did that very easily. It's 20 divided by 4, and that's $5 for each pod bless taxes it's fucking insane but um yeah man i don't know dude jewel pods they're a weird th they're they're it's really weird how every it's weird how every generation has like its thing you know like one generation like cigarettes have kind of always been there uh like in the 70s you know they were doing a lot of acid of fucking a shitload of fucking, you know, shrooms and shit, but, like, cigarettes were there, uh, but they just weren't the main thing, and now it's, like, vapes and weed, and it's, like, it's not even really that things have changed, it's that they're, they're exactly the same, we're just more aware of shit, the vape is different, because, you know, 70s, that shit didn't exist, I don't even know when the first vape was made, but it was probably in, like, 2001, or some shit made by some dude with like a ponytail but yeah i don't know it's a weird thing to be into i just i don't know how i got into it well i do know how do i how i got into it but it's dumb you know it's dumb that i got into it so easily literally my friend had a vape and i was like i'm gonna hit that and they're like okay okay do you want to hit it and i was like yeah i want to hit it and then i hit it and then i was like whoa that nicotine feels great which it didn't because uh usually normal vapes you can't even feel the nicotine man but that's the thing about the jewel though it has five percent nicotine so when you hit it it's like you can feel your fucking brain get pushed backwards by the g-force and shit and that's what makes it good. That's what makes it so much more addictive. Because you can actually... There's so much nicotine that you can actually feel it. And uh, I don't know, dude. It's like... It's pretty insane. Because I don't like that I do it. And it makes me sad when I think about all these fucking underage kids that are like 14. That really have no fucking idea what they're getting into. When they start jeweling. Uh... Cause hey man, we gotta start living the life of being too cool to jewel. You know, we we gotta be too cool to jewel. Cause if you're not cool, then you jewel. You know what I mean? Cause I'm not cool. I for sure am not cool, dude. I'm fucking me. Uh, I'm definitely not too. I'm I'm not too cool to jewel yet. But I want to get there. That's the goal. Everyone wants to be too cool to jewel. Cause we're all trying to do better. But yeah, man. Uh, I was talking about the Cats trailer. Uh, the next kind of movie-related thing I wanted to talk about is... Um, I think it was NPR that posted this, but... I, I didn't completely read the article, which is bad on my part. I probably should have read the article more. Or, like, at least more thoroughly, because, um, you know, I'm talking about it on my podcast. 
So I probably should have done better research, but uh, my thing was the actual uh, thing that I read about, I didn't care much about, was more like part of it. But basically, Adam Driver, um, he's a big actor. He's been in some movies, some shows. I don't know which ones. I honestly haven't seen... I ha- I honestly don't think I've seen anything with Adam Driver in it. I probably have and just haven't put much thought to it, but um yeah, so I I believe this was on NPR. Basically, they were interviewing him on I think a podcast and uh they they played a clip of Adam Driver acting. And apparently Adam Driver he has he has really bad anxiety and this like phobia of just like seeing himself perform anything and uh i don't know it's weird because npr apparently he's tried to do an interview with them before and then he left i think and so they knew about like the whole thing like they knew they knew that he he's just not comfortable with watching himself perform or hearing himself perform because it fucks with his anxiety and he has a phobia about it. But, like, they knew that. And, like, apparently what they did was they told him, um, they told him, well, you, uh, if you don't want to, or they, what they told him was, it, at the beginning of the interview, they told him to, or they encouraged, <sighs> fucking sentences, man. At the beginning of the interview, they encouraged him to take off his headphones whenever, a clip of him performing came on and then when they played the clip of him performing he just left and never went back and uh i don't i I think that's like i don't know in my in my opinion that's a fuck up on npr's part you know like um they could have easily just gone and like added the clips back after they recorded the actual interview like they don't have to play it right then and there you know but um I don't know. I, I it's weird how uh it's crazy how our brain can make us so scared about like ourselves, you know? Cuz I used to have this thing. I still kind of have it, not quite as bad anymore just cuz so many I, so many people have listened to my music now that I'm like whatever. Um but I remember at the beginning when I first started, I would I would release a song and I'd be a little scared. I wouldn't care that much. But then when people I knew started playing it and I could hear them playing it, it was like, eh, get this shit out of here. You know, I, it made me uncomfortable. And, uh, you know, I get it. I, I understand it. Because, like, I don't know. I, I, think, I think it was NPR's, like, I think they fucked up. I think they should have. Because especially since they were aware of how he feels about it, and like his anxiety, his phobia, and everything, I th- I really think that NPR should have just not played his fucking performance. If he clearly was not a fan of it, they should have just left it like that, you know. But um, yeah, man, NPR fucked up. I think that because there was a lot of there was some people that were kind of hating on Adam Driver. But there weren't many. There was only like a solid two tweets hating on him. Uh, For the most part, everyone seems to agree that NPR kind of fucked up, especially since they knew the situation and they kind of they kind of ignored it in a way like they they literally just said, well, just take your headphones off. It's kind of like fucking uh, it's kind of like saying, how are you getting cyber bullied? Just close your eyes. Uh, You know, it's like. Oh man, or it's like it's like when uh, I'm not even gonna go there, but it's just it, it's just not. It's kind of like saying, I don't know, man. I don't know. Just tell tell him telling him to like just take his headphones off if he feels weird is just I don't know. To me, that just seems wrong as fuck. It's a weird thing. I don't agree with that. I th- I, th- I really think they should have just edited in the clips that they were gonna use after the interview, because realistically, it would have the same exact effect as it would uh, if they did it live, you know? But yeah, man, um, it's crazy. Anxiety. Anxiety is a thing. And it still fucks with me all the time. I've gotten better at it, but uh, it does fuck with me a lot. It really does.
I don't know, man. It's fucking... What day is it, dude? It's Wednesday, man. Dude, school finished and time is starting to go fast, man. I don't know, dude. And I'm trying to keep up with this podcast. Re- recently, I've just been... I keep forgetting to add topics. So I'm, I'm a little short on topics. I still have a few more. Uh, I actually have some that are left over from last episode that I wanted to talk about, but I didn't. But, um, yeah, it's a little difficult to keep up, you know, because, uh, because I have to have enough, I have to have enough shit to talk about for at at least like 55 minutes, you know, in that range, 55 to an hour, uh, 55 and up, I'd say, but, uh, I have to have enough to be able to make it that far. And sometimes like, I just completely forget that I need to be writing shit down to talk about. And then like, you know, I'll get. I don't know. It'll 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 be like Wednesday or actually today's Wednesday. It'll be Tuesday and I'll get off work and I'm like, "Oh fuck, I have to record that tomorrow." Shit. And then I got to like think about shit and uh yeah. I don't know, man, but I'm doing my best. It's all that matters. This is only episode 18, you know, which for now seems like a lot. Like 18 episodes is a pretty fucking decent amount of episodes uh especially for just starting out um because it's it's pretty difficult to keep doing episodes but i plan on i plan on going i want to make it to 100 man the goal is 100 uh mainly uh but for now for now i think the goal is 50 if i can make it to 50 i'm gonna be very proud of myself because that's 50 weeks you know i don't even know how many weeks there are in a year but I'm sure that's like half of them or something. How many fucking weeks are in a year, dude? I'm about to Google this shit. How many weeks in a year? There's 52 weeks in a year, so it's right under a year. If I get 50 fucking episodes, that's cool. Okay. But yeah, man, speaking of, um, speaking of anxiety and shit, I saw this post on Reddit. This was like... This was like last Tuesday, because I meant to talk about this on last episode, but I ended up making it so far into the episode that I was like, um, I was just kind of like, eh, I'll fucking do that next episode. And so I did. And, um, basically there was this person that, uh, so there on Reddit, there is a thread called, um, it's called, uh, ask Reddit. And it's basically exactly that. You just post a question. And anyone who follows the Ask Reddit thread, it's just like they see it on their fucking, what's it called? What's the Reddit thing called? Would it be feed? Yeah, they see it on their feed. And if they want to answer the question, they can in the comments. And like, um, I saw someone, they posted, my guess is they were probably like 16, 17, But they posted about how there was this girl at his job who he wanted to, like, ask out. But he was just too nervous. And, like, no matter what he does, he's constantly nervous. Everything's, like, you know, everything just makes him nervous. And, like, um, I don't know. I just wanted wanted to talk about, like, the things that I did, you know, to help me get over, like, my, uh, not, not really get over, but kind of help deal with just being like antisocial, socially awkward because I'm a very I'm a very socially awkward person, you know? I'm like I don't know, dude, my whole life, man. I remember when I was 5 or not well not really 5, but like just when I was little, like 10 and down. Actually probably like 14 and down, honestly. Uh, I remember whenever we'd go to, like, family ha- family's houses, like, cousins or grandparents, I could never talk to them, dude. I never could because I was always like, who the fuck are these other people, bro? Get out of my face, man. Who the fuck are you? Dude, I just couldn't talk to people. It was like... Because, like, I don't know what it was, but people would talk to me, and in my head I'd have a response, and I was like, ooh, this is a good response. But then I would be, like, in my head so much that I would just be like... Eh. And I I would start saying something, then I would just go, "Eh." and I just wouldn't say it because it was like, like, it it felt like if I, if I spoke a word, I was going to like explode, you know? 
Like it felt like if when when people talked to me, it felt like if I responded with anything, I was just going to fucking get crushed like a soda can by gravity, you know. And uh, it fucking sucks, man. Because I was like that when I was little, and I'm still kind of like that in a way. It depends on who's talking to me, really. But I've gotten better at it. And the way I got better at it, um, if you're dealing with anything like that, and I know this isn't going to be like the greatest solution ever, but this is just what worked for me. And um, yeah, man, for me, it was more what I did was I kind of got more in touch with myself like, uh, I started realizing, uh, this may sound egotistical and shit, but I, I started realizing that whenever I talk to people or I hang out with my friends, mainly my friends, I always make them laugh. So I was like, huh, maybe I'm like a funny person. And once I started to think about myself like that, where I was like, huh, I'm kind of funny. Cause before I used to just think, ah, I'm fucking ugly. I'm fucking fat. I'm not going to do anything with my life. I'm failing freshman year. You know, I'll probably end up killing myself or something, which is dark as fuck, but that's really where I was at some point. Like, I was like, I'm pointless as fuck. I don't know what I'm doing. But at some point, you know, I started realizing that I make all my friends laugh. I make some people laugh that aren't, that I don't even know. And then I was like, maybe, maybe like, maybe this is what I got to focus on. Maybe I just got to focus on like what I can do, you know? So I would make people laugh, you know? And uh, I started thinking about myself, like, in that way. I started thinking, like, you know, I'm not that terrible. Like, so I'll see people and I'll be like, you know what? I mean, I know that person, but I'm definitely cooler than them. So, you know, sometimes you got to be egotistical a little bit. You got to start looking at yourself like a good person. You got to start seeing the, like, the positives in, in like, all the all the positive things that you do, like that everyone has something that they do that is good. You know, everyone has something that they consistently do that is like, I'm trying to put this into words and it's like, it's kind of difficult, but see like kind of, okay. So like I found that I was funny. So I was like, huh, maybe this is something that fucking, Maybe this is what I should be focusing on. Basically, just focus on the good parts of yourself. That's what I needed to say. Like, because every... Look, everyone has some bad stuff about themselves. There's no one that has nothing that they're, like, at least a little bit insecure about, you know? For some people, it's their weight. For some people, it's their voice. For some people, it's the way they look in general. Some people, it's just them, you know? But with that, there's also, like everyone also has something that's like beautiful about them and that's the human experience you know everyone is beautiful in some way and um uh, you just gotta you gotta try because like it's a very difficult thing to do at first i remember when i first started thinking like that there was a part there was like a thing in my head that would constantly be like like there, there, it was like another voice in my head that would constantly be like nah you're fucking stupid you're not that fucking cool and like, you know, you just gotta, cause everyone kind of has that, that voice in their head. That's like just negative as fuck, bro. And like, you just got to start fighting that voice. You know, anytime you hear that voice, you just gotta be like, nah, that's, that ain't true, dude. I'm chilling. And it just helps, dude. It really does. It helped me so fucking much to start just thinking positively, po- positively about like the things I do. And like the way I act, the things I, the things I feel, just feeling positive about everything in my life. Maybe not everything, but just all the good parts about me, just feeling a lot more positive. It's made me so much more confident. It's made it so much easier to just talk. Like uh, back then in school, if the teacher called on me and I had to like, I don't know, present something in the class. First of all, I wouldn't even respond to the teacher because I was like, you know, I would be like, don't talk to me i wouldn't say that but i'd feel it and um you know it was always so fucking scary dude and then at some point i said something funny and a teacher laughed and i was like huh if i can make a teacher laugh i can make anyone laugh and then um yeah dude but yeah so uh, i don't know for me personally the first the first part was just you know accepting that there there are good parts about me and there may also be bad parts about me but I need to put more energy into the good parts to outweigh the bad parts. And then the bad parts just stop being that bad, you know? 
they just stop they stop having the most control because you're you're so focused on the good parts about yourself that the bad parts are just kind of like well but i'm over here and the good parts like ah, i don't care um but yeah so that was the first thing and then the the next thing was just um you know as i said i'm very socially awkward antisocial um i had a hard time just saying words to people that weren't like my parents or my sisters and um yeah no literally what i did with this is i just did it uh i remember in um i think junior year it was my it was my third year in high school but i was still a junior um because i failed a grade but i remember we had to pick like lyrics from a or we had to pick a song and then cuz this was an english class we had to pick a song and then we had to go in front of the class and read the lyrics cuz we were learning about poetry and everything so we had to read the lyrics and like kind of kind of put emotion into it we were basically just trying to show like the different elements of poetry in songs so like literation fucking all that shit similes and whatever the fuck and um dude i'll never forget i got up there and i i picked a i picked a song that was rap and i remember i went up there and i was like dude i like like my words were coming out but it sounded like like it sounded like a car when like it's not starting like you were like the you know like all my words like is you know uh like it sounded like you were about to fucking start a car dude and that's how i've always been man like i i remember when i was like in um mainly ninth grade dude if i was in ninth grade if anybody with a vagina looked at me and like said words to me i'd be like hi uh, 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 you know dude i just become a fucking car that's failing dude it would be like what's your na- uh, 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 uh. and it that was just my existence dude but yeah man the the way i got over it is like and this might not be helpful uh for a lot of people but to me this is what worked and i know that for someone for someone it'll work um, you really just need to force yourself to do things sometimes, you know? Sometimes the best way to learn how to do things is literally make yourself do them. So what I, w- what I started doing is I started putting myself in situations where I had to talk to people. Uh, because if I didn't talk to them, then I could, like, get a bad grade. Or I could fucking, I don't know, or if I didn't talk, I would just be judged. I don't know. But I, I, I basically, I would put myself in situations where I had to talk more, and it made me so much, like, I don't know. It just made it so much easier to, like, deal with, like, existing the way I was existing, because it just felt so difficult, man. Like, as I said, dude, I just became a fucking car, dude. That's just how it was. Um... Yeah, man, it was difficult as fuck, dude. Being, like, having anxiety. And I I know this episode may have not been as, like, you know, maybe not as funny as other ones. It's been a little more real. Uh, But that's just because, you know, if you look at the description of the podcast, it literally says, sometimes I try to get real. I get into shit. Uh, Because that's just how I am in real life. I, I fuck around a lot. But then I start thinking and I actually just, I feel things, you know? I feel like, I I like being real with myself. I like being honest with myself. There's just, because I I need to. I need to be honest with myself. If I'm not honest with myself, what am I doing? You know? Uh, But yeah, man, I don't know. It's fucking, it's almost 2020, dude. It's been a hard-ass fucking year. But it's it's nice, though, because even though all, like, so much bad shit happened this year, like, so much shit that has left me, like, scarred, that has left me, like, broken, because I went to therapy for, like, four years, maybe three years, I don't, I'm bad with time, but because I went to therapy for so long and learned how to, like, deal with myself, now even though the hardest shit I've ever had to deal with happened, I'm, like fine you know like um because i remember i started going to therapy because i 
I, I was in English class and we were writing poetry. This is the same class that I was talking about before. We were writing poetry and I wrote a really sad poem because the the poem was supposed to be like about our life and everything. And I wrote a really sad poem because I had just broken up with a girl. And um, first of all, the girl didn't even live in the same country. So I'm a bitch, but I fucking, I wrote a really sad poem. And in the poem, I, bas- I, I alluded, I wouldn't say alluded, but I, what would the word, I guess, I, I guess I'll use allude, I don't fucking know, basically I, I alluded to the fact that I might kill myself, or that sometimes I feel like I, I want to kill myself, and when I wrote it, I didn't think it was that, like, you know, I didn't think it was that deep, I don't know why, I, I, I guess I thought that the feelings I was feeling was like a normal thing, but then my teacher um, at the time I was a little upset about this, but I'm kind of glad she did it now, uh, still hate her, I hate that fucking teacher, uh, she was fucking annoying, but I'm very glad she did this, uh, she read the poem, and then she reported it to the school, and then the school got me in touch with a therapist, and, you know, that's how I started going to therapy, which is nice, because if that never happened, I definitely wouldn't have ever gone to therapy, so, it's cool, and, uh, but yeah, man, basically what I'm saying is, you know, I wanted to kill myself so bad. And it was literally just because I broke up with a girl and I was like 13 or 12 or some shit. And well, probably not 13, it's probably like 14. Dude, I'm so bad with time and ages. But, you know, I, I broke up with a girl and I, I legit just wanted to kill myself. I remember when I broke up with that girl, it was the first time I ever had a panic attack. And if you've never had a panic attack, um... They're fucking awful, dude. The first one I ever had, I genuinely thought I was dying. My parents didn't know what the fuck was happening. They were they had to call an ambulance and shit. But, yeah, I wrote a poem about that, and I went to therapy. And that's what made me go to therapy, you, you know? Just breaking up with a girl and, like, wanting to kill myself because of it. And, you know, it's it's crazy because even though that's not really that bad, whenever when I look back on it, it's really not... Like, what I was dealing with wasn't that bad. Like, the suicidal thoughts was definitely awful. Like, that's some shit. Don't want that. But the the whole, like, breaking up with a girl thing, you know, that's not that bad compared to other things. And then, you know, I went to therapy for, like, three or four years. And, um, you know, this year, as I've said in early, in episodes before this, my best friend committed suicide August 28th of this year. And, um... You know, that's the worst shit I've ever had to deal with. It's the hardest thing that I've ever had to go through, you know. um, It was the most emotions that I've ever felt going through my brain at one time. You know, it was very... It was just a very difficult thing to deal with. And um, it's crazy because I haven't been going to therapy because I don't... I I just can't right now. But um, it's cool because I went to therapy for such a simple thing. But because I was taught how to, like, deal with myself, how to, like, take care of myself better, how to just how to cope with things in a healthier way, because I used to cut myself, I used to fucking do all that shit, um, but I've, I, because I went to therapy just for, like, some years, now whenever the hardest shit happens and shit harder than I've ever had to deal with, I've been able to just, like, keep going, you know? Like, I've just gone, and, like, I... It's crazy. The hardest shit has happened this year, but I still feel good, you know? I feel fucking good. But yeah, man. Uh I know I know that half of this episode got really fucking real. Um it just happens. I sometimes I think of something and then I just I just end up wanting to talk about it for a while. Um but yeah, man, that's what this podcast is for, you know? Just getting real, having a good time. And learning, you know, just trying to do better. But yeah, man, we have reached the end of this podcast. So if you want to support this podcast, you can go to anchor.fm slash shameless creatures. Or if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts, you can go to the show notes and there will be a link that says support this podcast. And you can just click that link and it'll take you to the support this podcast page. Or, actually not or, Oh wait, yeah, or I'm fucking stupid. Or if you're listening, if you if you're watching the video version, the support this podcast link should be right in the description. It should be like the first thing there. Uh, if it's not, it's probably under the 
description of the episode. But yeah, and and if you want to leave any if you want to leave any voice messages that you want me to respond to on the podcast, you can call 919-263-4472 and leave a voicemail and I can respond to your messages on the podcast. And if you if you don't feel comfortable, you know, you, having your voice on the podcast, you can also tweet using the hashtag shameless creatures pod and you can ask me questions you can tell me anything and i'll respond to it on the podcast um but yeah man this has been episode fucking 18 dude 18 episodes don't know how is this episode 18 this might be episode fucking 19 and i might be dumb as fuck uh no nah, it's 18 okay but yeah, man, episode 18 of the podcast, Shameless Creatures, here every fucking Thursday. Have yourselves a great life, a great day, and if you feel like you gotta improve on things, hey guy, do better. Have a good life, everybody. <laughs>